Okay, so I didn't get a video up Wednesday because we had a power outage. So today I'm going to try to do a coconut lentil curry. And I say try because I don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we're really kind of just winging it here. I don't have... Um, I don't have curry powder, so I'm trying to DIY a curry powder using a random recipe from the internet. And um, in order to do the curry powder, I need dry cilantro, which I don't have. So we're subbing parsley, parsley and uh, maybe basil. The internet said both of them were good. I think the recipe called for two tablespoons of cilantro and I'm thinking mm, I could half and half it a tablespoon of each of those but I probably should just do one we'll see I also do not have 15 cherry tomatoes I didn't grow tomatoes this year <laughs> and I have some tomatoes they're not ripe though and I don't have 15 of them um, that's another story and I do have one small eggplant because I did grow eggplant this year so I have actually just one small eggplant from the garden um, I'm gonna make rice in the rice cooker not on the stove I'm done with that because God intended for us to make rice using the rice cooker that's why rice cookers were invented but I'm gonna do basmati rice in the rice cooker and what else don't I have? Okay, so 15 cherry tomatoes. And I don't have a 14 ounce can of uh, crushed tomatoes. I have a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, but I'm not going to double this recipe because I literally have one eggplant. Just one. That's it. That's all I've got. The other ones haven't ripened yet or gotten big enough for me to pull them. Um, so I am going to... I feel like I can use, I've got tomato paste, but also I made a tomato sauce for a different recipe a few days ago. Um, and I feel like I could use that. It's flavored. I mean, it's got uh, garlic in it, but this recipe, <laughs> oh, this recipe doesn't call for garlic at all. Wait, 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 wait. It does. I need two cloves of the garlic. Okay, so I've got garlic in there. And I've got tomatoes. I think I put garlic and tomatoes and nothing else. I'm going to use that sauce. We're going to sub that for 14 ounces of... I don't got 14 ounces, though. Let me see. Shit. It's close to it and this was a little thick so maybe I'm gonna do it I'm gonna use it that's about 14 ounces it's not crushed um, tomatoes but I mean it's close ish and I don't have 15 tomato tomatoes I don't have any tomatoes fresh and all I've got is this 14, 28 ounce can of crushed. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got. <laughs> I've got sun dried tomatoes. So it's not the same, but we're going to pretend like it is. <laughs> um, yeah. So, let's get started. So, I got this recipe from the Minimalist Baker um, to make a DIY curry powder. She calls for coriander, which I don't have. Coriander is cilantro. Um, I subbed that with basil 
and parsley. I did go half and half, one tablespoon of each. Um, cumin, turmeric, ginger, mustard, black pepper, cinnamon, cardamom, and cayenne pepper. I did not grind chilies for it. Um, I put almost everything in. For some reason, I forgot the cumin. But pro tip, if you're making some kind of mix like this, um, as you put your ingredient into your new container to mix, put it back up in the cabinet. <laughs> I got to the end of, or what I thought was the end of of uh, the ingredient putting part and I still had cumin like sitting there and it's like oh I, sh I shouldn't have cumin sitting here it should be up here's me adding the cumin that I should have added from the beginning so if you have to make something this is the best way to do it um Next, uh, actually starting to cook the recipe, um, I started with some oil and uh, cumin seeds. Cumin seeds? Yeah, cumin seeds. Uh, they have to be browned in the oil for a little bit. And then adding the onion onion yeah so sauteing the onion for a while um so the recipe called for um frozen spinach i didn't have frozen spinach i had fresh because i was supposed to be using it for something else and blah blah whatever i didn't have frozen if I do this again, this is the point where I will add that spinach in because it was a little tough um, when I got to the end. So if you're using fresh spinach, I would say saute your spinach with your onion to get it to wilt down some. Okay. After the onion in goes uh, garlic. Also, if you must, you can include your children who will stir. Yeah, they'll, they'll stir. <laughs> Very efficiently. Just kidding. Um, so I guess the onions don't have to get brown. They just have to get a little, uh, fragrant and wilty before you're going to add your, um, your garlic. Okay. Then you add your curry powder. I think she asks for two tablespoons or two teaspoons. And I think I added a whole tablespoon because I wasn't sure about the potency of my uh, little DIY mix. And she says, let the curry go until um, it releases its flavor or whatever. I say until it starts to smell like curry. Whenever you can smell the, the spices in the air. That is a cup of lentils. 
I rinsed them before I put them in there. Red lentils. Um, and there is five ounces of spinach. She said seven ounces of frozen. I've got five ounces of fresh. We should just got to work with what we got. And there's my tomato sauce. This should be crushed tomatoes, 14 ounces of crushed tomatoes. But I ain't got that. So it is what it is. And children can stir. There's water. I used water. Um, two cups of water, but I have small little broth packets, one little packet per cup that I'm going to add also. Um, so if you have broth, I would say use broth, um, vegetable broth. If you're trying to go vegetarian or vegan, is this vegan? Yeah, I don't think this has any animal products, so this could be a vegan meal. Um, if you use vegetable broth, I suppose you could also use chicken broth if you want it. That's a thing you could do. And once all the liquid is in, she says to bring it to a boil. And I moved it to the back burner because now is the time to... Um, saute the eggplant this should be sauteing eggplant and little cherry tomatoes which i don't have so i took about five sun-dried tomatoes and i just chopped them up not very fine real rough chop and um put them in with the eggplant so a tablespoon of oil and here comes the eggplant i have no clue what these kids were doing Oh, I think this time I'm cutting. I'm actually cutting the eggplant into similarly sized cubes. Not same size at all. And that's my eggplant. I grew that eggplant myself. So proud of it. Look how cute, right? And then... uh get the oil on there. I feel like maybe my eggplant was too big. I've made this recipe twice now. Um, and I think this eggplant was too big and probably I would have needed more oil or I would have maybe needed to salt it a little bit. I don't know. There goes the tomatoes and there is a child rolling in the kitchen floor because that's that's what we do. That's in vogue now. Okay, so sauteing everything, um, adding some salt. Now she says just to take it until the tomatoes blister, which I can't tell you how long that is because my tomatoes didn't blister because they're dry. And the eggplant is browned so that's going and then you will add this mix along with a can of coconut milk into your your big pot so one drawback about this recipe 
that I'm not too fond of is that you have to use two containers or two pots to make the recipe. I'm a big one pot fan, like, because I don't like washing dishes, like, keep it real. <laughs> I hate washing dishes, so I don't like that I have to do the sauteing of the eggplant in a separate container. I think, I don't think I let the lentils cook long enough. They were a little toothy. Um, but I mean, it still turned out good. The second time I made this, that I didn't record, um, I, <laughs> I forgot to turn the, the heat down and I actually boiled until my lentils were just basically mush. <laughs> So, um, yeah, don't do that. It wasn't bad. It was still very delicious because the flavors are still there. But it didn't have the same texture. So it wasn't as fun to eat. So now I think my eggplant is done. And uh, there's the coconut milk. I made a mess of it. I opened it the wrong way. And so now my hands are covered in freaking coconut milk. Fun. So adding the coconut milk and then adding the eggplant and tomato mixture to the entire thing and then I closed it <clears throat> I closed it put it on low um and just let it kind of simmer for a while or I let it simmer until my um my rice was done if you're gonna make rice, you should start your rice at the beginning. I made basmati rice, and that takes a while to cook, um, to get done even in the rice cooker. So I would suggest to make your rice like before you even begin the process of making the uh, curry. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so it's done. And I put it over a uh, basmati rice. very warm not spicy so first of all <laughs> I need real curry and not um, whatever I put together in there before I make any real judgments about this but I mean oh and also real tomatoes <laughs> And not whatever I made like two days ago for a different recipe. But I definitely see why you would use crushed tomato 
instead of a tomato sauce, which is what I had, tomato sauce. Because this isn't very chunky. I want more chunks. Can I just get <sighs> a curry on my shirt now? Or my dress? But, um, this is something I would do again and try doing with the, um, without making so many substitutions. Um, I think it definitely will be better with cilantro in it somewhere, which was supposed to be in the curry. And if I used fresh spinach again, I would saute it. At the same time, I saute the onion. The onion. Because my spinach is still a little crunchy, which doesn't make sense. Um, but next time, I'll try to get frozen spinach. I only have fresh spinach because I was trying to do a smoothie thing, which didn't really work but yeah mm. I'm gonna say you should try this recipe if you're a vegan vegetarian person who is like in love with eggplant which doesn't taste like anything No, eggplant doesn't taste like anything. But also this could be because I'm used to tasting meat products. See how I feel in a few hours because I'm extremely hungry right now and maybe <laughs> that is clouding my judgment. But all in all, try it. If you do try it, Tell me about it in the comments. Bye.